we need a different system of education. We need basically to have more specialist schools in a different sense. We need, say, primarily, you know, maths school and say an English or language school. The maths school has got the science, the labs, all the teachers there in the one school. The pupils, students, members of the community go to that school. Go to that, that those maths teachers. Go to those labs. Go to learn there. There's a chess club there. It shouldn't be there's an integrated science for those who are interested in science. And the basic rule is that those who are interested become like the inner circle, you know, the, the specialist, the gifted, and they're encouraged to learn within the group. Now, my basic suggestion is obviously this needs to be run by teachers, but my idea would be that, say, for example, if we take maths, then we have a lecture, say, on a particular concept, and that, record, that lecture can be recorded, that lesson can be recorded, and the students can watch it ad lib whenever they want. So the teachers are not employed in trying to get the attention of everybody. Obviously we can try, but the inner group of the mathematicians, they, they learn and teach each other. There's, if you like, a, you know, a pecking order, a continuous caterpillar track. So that they're learning and teaching the person behind them these concepts. And when they understand the concept, then the, the ones on the inner circle are permitted to teach on the outer circle. And the outer circle are those who aren't interested. But there's certain standards that are set that they must pass, primarily in arithmetic. Primarily in arithmetic of the 2020s in the times tables. Um, mental arithmetic, facility arithmetic, they need to be taught mental arithmetic. It's not that difficult. And the people interested in mathematics can teach the ones that are disinterested the little tricks of the trade. We can, we can learn the times tables, we can construct the times tables, we can do mental arithmetic, we can learn the principles and methods of arithmetic. And those who are interested in numbers and arithmetic can teach them one on one. And then we can progress on to the different mathematical concepts. And that there's continuous assessment, continuous examination, no end of term examination, continuous assessment. Can, do you understand the concept? Can you do these questions on the concept? If you can't, then somebody will help you one-on-one -on -one from the inner circle. Somebody who understands that concept will teach you, will run through it with you, will run through a group of you if you don't understand. And then when you do understand, well, you can keep passing the tests, doing a few, a few of the tests, questions, to prove that you understand the concept. Then that box is ticked, and you move on to the next concept. You know, you watch the video, you do the examples, you get help from somebody on the inner circle who, who, who's keen, who's understanding, who's on some sort of house or point system or time system, time privilege. <coughs> so if he helps you, he gets more points on his card. <coughs> However, the points are divided on a personal basis or on a house basis. <coughs> some sort of you know, incentive system, easily operated, the teasers and the pupils could design it. My own favour would be if there's six houses based on, you know, the astro astrology signs, but the, the lunar months in pairs. So you get the, the new moon at the beginning of the lunar year in February and the one in March. So that those first two months, anyone born in that, those two months would be in the first house. 
and so on through the year. So everybody would, you know, be put in one of those houses when they were born. Would be connected up with other children in the community born at that time. You know, so they knew each other. You know, as a house, as a, as a, like a little party, a little, you know, team. And then, as I say, the main thing is, you know, individual, you know, is the, the ones who are keen in the subject being helped, being encouraged to spread their wings intensely to get as far ahead as possible and then to teach others, to learn the concepts by teaching others so they properly understand the concepts and properly understand the difficulties of understanding those concepts properly understand how to teach those concepts as we go along a continuous process of teaching and learning and then you see you could have the other school would be as I say the you know the English the languages you know the sustained reasoning critical thinking logic you know, public speaking, drama, you know, all and all the rest of all the arts. And then, you know, according to what the teachers have decided, you can have at separate divisions at different schools if that was necessary. You could have like a third school as a main referral centre, so that the pupils attended that centre and then will refer their you know, their test results, what they were interested in, you know, what they were going to be doing could be allocated, their phones, the GPS could locate them, you could have CCTV, you know, everywhere, and then you could have the people who are housebound in the community watching the CCTV so that there's no, you know, strange danger and there's no truancy. But then there's no, you know, there's no heavy school attendance pressure, age screaming. The main thing, you know, is personal development, progress in, in the subjects that require standards, you know, participation in the community according to what needs to be done. As I say, CM School is a referral centre so that, you know, so that people are, you know, are, 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 are supervised but, but not necessarily controlled. It doesn't mean something follow their interests, but it should be seen that they're following their interests, you know, developing and learning and training and understanding and being useful in the community. So that, so whatever the problem could be referred to the one in the community could be referred to the one referral centre and then they can be referred either to the other schools or to other, some other facility. But so the, but this is the basic idea, you know, is that all the resources, say like, like for example, let's say the maths, should be concentrated on what in one place as much as possible in different areas, and then, and then as much as possible, those that are keen should be encouraged to develop, and those that are disinterested should be helped to the basic standards, you know, by, by the team of the of the team you know, from a, on a regional basis or from area to area, you know, the teachers and the geography can determine that.